What's up, guys? Welcome back from New York City. You're watching the final day of the round of 16 of WCS America Premier League. And we're about to advance into the winner's match between those two gentlemen right there. Of course, Ri Young looking calm and cool at his table and alive. He's either cutting his fingernails or figuring out uh, so untangling those headphones. But um, so, alive versus Ri Young. EG versus Axiom. Alive saying he's going to show some fun stuff in this match. That's in the interview. We'll see, we'll see what fun stuff is, is coming forward. Of course, so far today, we saw Ri Young uh, take out Paul in yep. just an absolutely amazing series. If you guys are just tuning in, do me a favor and and write, uh, make an alarm for somewhere between one and two hours from now. Okay. And that alarm should say, go to youtube.com slash official MLGSC2 <laughs> and watch the Paul versus Ri Young VODs. Those will be up pretty soon. And that was just a, uh, an amazing series. I don't. There's no one who watched that who would not be amazed. Yeah. I, I, I like. I will. I, I mean, there's like the one guy in a million who's like, well, you know what? I think that was alive, actually. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you know, those games are okay. <laughs> <laughs> of course, alive is in a winner's match because yes. uh, Violet had visa issues and, and couldn't make it. Uh huh. Um, so the winner of this match between alive and Ryung is going to advance to the playoffs. Boom. The loser will drop down to play Paul. Then we're in that match, will also make the playoffs. Yeah. Ryung showed uh, really good fortitude, really nice game sense, calm, cool, collected throughout that series, and wasn't afraid to let the go game go long, but was willing to, to throw in some tricks in the beginning. You know, that, that widow mind play in game three definitely set the tone, set the pace for that game. I think it, it, it you know, Pulp felt a little bit pressured, so tried to make something happen across the map, but then Ryung. Uh, was good enough to be able to deflect that aggression and take that victory. Very inspiring play. And, you know, he said he's very confident, uh, you know, going into this match, going into this group. So I, I don't want to predict anything, but I mean, I feel like Ryung might have an edge, but then it's Alive who recently joined EG. He's been doing fantastic in Pro League. He has Coach Park helping him out. Coach Park is actually here in the studio. Um, and, and Alive looking confident as well. So, I, you know, I feel like this could really go either way. Could be another great TVT series, of course. Uh, we saw Alive play a TVT series in the round of 32. He went up against Major yes. in the loser match, actually, because he lost the killer. Um, eventually, uh, he, he beat Major 2 to 0, and then he, he got his revenge against Killer to come in second in that group and advance, and that's why he's in the round of 16. But his games against Major, honestly, it was hard to really tell his true TVT form. The one thing I was a little worried about is, uh, first of all, if you guys who don't know Major, he's an amazing player. He uh, he plays for a teammate over in Korea. Yes. But he's actually a uh, Mexican, so he's he's a local American, uh, and and he's very scary. He's one of the one of the top players outside Korea. And his series versus Alive, Major always got ahead in workers. He's and he always got ahead in units, but then Alive just Major left a hole in his position. Alive just run in and just win the game by camping to production. So. We didn't really see too much of a lie because it was just Major making a little bit of a positional mistake and a lie yeah. punishing for it. You know, once a lie lost that first match, he was like, all right, I'm not messing around. He tore through the rest of the group. We'll have to see how he does here against uh, his opponent, Ri Young. Of course, here we are in game number one of this best of three in the winner's match of the final group of the WCS America Premier League round of 16 in the top right hand location of Daybreak. We have the Red Terran player representing Team Evil Geniuses. He is alive. Very intense. Yes. Of course, his opponent in the bottom left-hand location, perhaps equally as intense. Very calm, cool, collected, not only in his interviews, but in that match number one against Polt. He is your blue Terran player hailing from Team Axiom. He is Ryung. I think a lot of people out here would say Ryung is a slight favorite, and, and definitely seeing how he played against Paul was just spectacular TVT. Uh, the one thing you have to consider, though, is Alive got to see those games, yep. so he might have a little bit of feel for the way Ryung approaches TVT. Actually, both players going gas first. This they is are. this is interesting. Um, but yeah, back to what I was saying. Uh, he, he got to see the games, and also Ryung just played two 45-minute games and a 20-minute game in a row. So, which adds up to 110 minutes. Yes. 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 I put myself on the spot there. Just short of, of, of two hours, basically, of, of gameplay there. 
And that's a long best of three series. And that was, it wasn't a 45 minute game where you're, it's like you have a line of tanks and you just stare at them and build battle cruisers. Where you just kind of like, you know, you just kind of kick, you kick your it back. Your upgrade's going. Yeah. At that point in the game, you're like lining up your SCVs even though you're like 30 <laughs> minutes in. But you just, have nothing else to do. No, it wasn't like that. No, there was insanely <laughs> action. I, I think there was never more than like 15 seconds you know, of game without someone actually initiating some sort of skirmish, and then often they would back away, so it's not like every 50 seconds there was major engagement, but... It was intense. Yeah, there, there was always constant, constant maneuvering, so the, the level of mental focus had to be 100% the entire game, and, and keeping that level of concentration yeah. is kind of draining. You got all this adrenaline, and, and you can kind of hit an overload and, and hit a little bit of, of fatigue yeah. going in. But you of know, course, I mean, these guys are... are the pros. Yeah, yeah. They're used to that stuff. And you know, like, in the interview, Young was just, like, so cool. I'm, like, going <laughs> over there. He's, like, in his Crocs. I'm, like, what's up, man? Good job. And he's, like, thanks. And he gave me a little smirk. <laughs> he looks completely chill. It's not like there was sweat pouring down his body, making his jersey all wet. No, he, he looked he looked really good and, and really calm and collected. And he, he, he said, you know, I'm 100% I'm going to win this. So, um, you know, don't count either of these guys out, though. This should be a fantastic best of three. And we're already starting off with some fireworks as far as early gas is being taken. Already see starports going down. No fast command centers here. One thing that's interesting, we see Ryung going double gas, Alive going single. Both players are, are almost surely going Banshees, but Alive will not be able to get Cloak. I mean, just with one gas, you just can't do it. You won't have the income. But Ryung could get Cloak, and that's where you can see a little bit of a difference. Is, uh, the Cloak, of course, will delay any additional units he makes. He doesn't have the Helling, for example. Uh, and, and also, it's going to, of course, delay his command center. But Cloak can also be a real pain if your opponent can't see your unit. So it could really go either way. How much damage will that extra Cloak investment do, and, and will it be enough to compensate for that investment? Being able to identify what your opponent is doing is going to be very important as well. As things stand, Alive sending his first scout across the map in the form of a single Hellion. Ryung has not yet sent a, sent a scout off. So just now, these guys know they're playing against each other because Hellion uh, poked into Ryung's base, saw some Marines at the top. Um, so not necessarily prioritizing scouting just yet, but uh, you know, scans might happen in the near future. So something we'll have to keep an eye on. Usually the time you're on that is 6 minutes to 6.30, so definitely keep an eye on that. Hellion's trying to get up to, to scout something, but Ryung's so careful, all his buildings are placed far enough away that a, a unit that just pokes up to the top of the ramp will not quite be able to see them. The first Banshee now moving out by Lot. Oh, Marines sneaking out, taking down a Hellion first blood here. Actually, no, an SCV died. Uh, SCV died earlier, I guess. Units lost yes. his 50. Uh, Ryung lost his guy in SCV. Oh, so he did scout, but he didn't even see anything. In his phone. Okay. SCV. Or no, he had an SCV out the watchtower. He must have died or something. Because oh, like okay, he yeah. actually hasn't. He didn't scout across the map. It was probably yeah, a Hellion was still there. Oh, you know, Alive sees the cloak research, and that's big. Because seeing this research uh, is, is, of course, going to allow them to get the appropriate oh. countermeasures up. This is pretty annoying, too. The Banshee can just stay out of range of those Marines and just get some damage done. So he's going to know exactly what's going on. Of course, there's a timer here because he knows his opponent could potentially get a Viking out of that starport, which is a little bit dangerous. Um, and a he's not micro a Banshee! Oh! Oh, just because I said that, he micro did <laughs> Keeps it alive. 2 HP. Got a Banshee here from Ryung doing some damage across the map as well. It's delaying that command center by quite a bit. Very, very annoying. That is great, boy. I mean, it, it, once, once the Raven comes out, the Raven plus Marines can drive it away, but that, having a command center, he's going to kill another SCV. Uh, uh, well, he, that SCV. Cool. <laughs> imagine uh, Eli's point of view, like sending those SCVs out. All right, here's your job. You're going to get killed by a Banshee, but go finish the command center. He's like, all right, one. I'll try. Well, <laughs> he just keeps sending well, them. Like, Go finish the command center now. <laughs> SCVs are like, oh, yeah. there. This this guy might do it. <laughs> he's he's gonna do it. He's like, guys, I got this. <laughs> Does he got it? I got it, guys. I got it. I got it. Oh, send another SCV. <laughs> <laughs> another one goes out. Guys, I got this. This time, I think he does have it. Maybe. Does he? That's it. Yeah, yeah, the Banshee's gonna head back up. That is if he's like, what's the big deal, guys? What's going on? You know it's absolutely amazing there. <laughs> Widow Mine's gonna come in. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not gonna be able to knock that out. Okay, um, so Ryung, oh, the, the point Banshee's is... still killing SCVs. The Ryung, Ryung is everywhere. Um, eight kills on that Banshee. Ten kills now. It, it doesn't stop. Okay, now it's gonna die. Might stop now. Banshee does die, but well worth it. Also, some Marines coming forward here from Ryung, uh, Ryung to the, the front door of Alive. One Marine versus one Marine. 
You know, what's really amazing here is uh, the point we talked about how the Cloak would delay Ryung's expansion and, and uh, Alive would have the faster one. Yep. But he delayed Alive's expansion for long enough that their expansions are actually exactly evenly timed. Ironically using Cloak. Yes. Is that irony? Or is that paradoxically? Um, it's an I, interesting yeah. <laughs> stat. We'll call it that. Um, across the map, we have Alive actually has a Cloak Banshee. There's no detection here. And this Banshee could actually do a lot of damage. He has two coming in here. Two Cloak Banshees from Alive here in the main base of Ryung. Ryung evacuating as fast as he can with those. The Banshee's going to follow them across the map. Meanwhile, Marine's attacking the front door here of Alive. But uh, Alive has plenty of Marines here to deal with that. The main danger here is still going to be these Cloak Banshees. But the Cloak Banshee of Ryung is actually just killing everything in the main of oh. Alive. Uh, no? Ryung's doing a great job of, of attacking front, uh, both the natural and the main, and Gosh. the Marines and Ravens going to be at one place. Alive needs to go but to the mineral line. He does. Okay, finally. He's going. But Alive is... I, I don't know who's more dead. Who's more dead? The work, you know, this is a bad game to be an SCV. Yes. <gasps> you don't are... come in! Oh. oh, it's being repaired. Okay. That's you know, if that went down, that would have been game. I think. No mining time here. This is... Um... Oh, and a third Banshee coming in. Oh my god. I think this might be it. Ryung just, just couldn't deal with the club. I mean, he does, does he finally have a Viking popping out? He does, but you got to be able to detect what's going on. And I don't think he did. Did he ever throw an engineering bay? Like a turret? No, anything. I mean, he's, he doesn't have the mo He's got two minerals. He's so got three he's command centers, especially three orbitals. He's going to have lots of scans, but a one Viking against all these banshees. Well, Ryung does have his own hero banshee. He got 18 kills, but that's, that's true. It's just hanging out, and it's not, it's not enough. I mean, he's. The delayed cloak build is so powerful here uh, because Ryung just come totally off guard. A beautiful yeah. game, and then all of a sudden, Cloak Banshee showed up in his base, and, and now he's down to 15 SCVs versus 20. Actually, he's only down by 8. Supply of 58 to 30, though, if you're ever alive. He has a, a much bigger standing army. Yes. Oh, the hero Banshee going back into main. Oh. It's trying to make it's trying to make general 19 kills. It's the commander. Oh, sorry, I was wrong. Commander, not general. Commander Banshee. Yeah, he's got to escape that he's very low in life. So there are Banshees everywhere on this map. And are we finally going to see some Calm? Now that a uh, Viking is out here from Ryung, lots of Marines. No. Alive says no Calm. No Calm. No Calm. Uh, this is a really bad situation for Ryung because Alive is also marching across the map with a significant ground army. Wow. And this Banshee just keeps killing stuff. Is that, is that Commander is. Banshee? Yeah, the Commander Banshee is still alive there at the top side of the map. He's very um, sneaky. He, he only comes in when he knows he can get damage done. Engineering Bay finally finished up, by the way, so there are turrets. Oh, he cannot afford to lose that tank. Alive. Is that the Watchtower on Ryung's side of the map? And I don't know if Ryung is aware of that. That's two tanks, about 12 Marines. If Ryung can have all his Marines in his tank in siege mode, I think he might be able to defend. But his siege tank's actually a little further back. He, he didn't have time to move it forward. So Alive is going to have a really a good position. Great position, yeah. He, again, the, the sense of isolating additional expansions while um, while covering the, the the reinforcement, the supply line, and that's exactly what he's doing. The tanks can target down the ramp uh, any units that try to frolic down there. As a scan, kill Commander Banshee. Oh, Commander Banshee. Commander Banshee got one more kill on a SCV building in the command center. But Alive is just absolutely everywhere. He's got auto turrets in the main. He's pushing at the front. Cloak Banshee takes out the tank of yep. Ryung, and, and, and Ryung's going to desperately pull out these, but I, I don't think it's going to Yeah, this is going to be a GG there from Ryung, and that that game was probably the opposite of our first two games of the day. Both these guys loving the Cloak Banshees and going directly after the workers. You know what really almost was huge that game? Hmm. So Alive started Ryung's Cloak very early, but Ryung was still able to get a huge amount of damage done, so that was really impressive by Ryung. Yes. But then what happened is he just never was able to scout Alive's delayed cloak. Yeah. And, and it just totally which, caught him off guard. Which is a little bit interesting because in, in a situation where Ryung, or, or Ryung has clo uh, cloak banshees flying all around the Alive's base, you know, you'd think you'd be able to scout you know, the sparkliness of the tech lab to be able to identify that. But Alive doing a great job catching his opponent off guard. Ryung, a little bit of a mistake there. Not able to identify that cloak, which, which hurt him in the long run. And he's going to fall in game one. So Alive taking game number one of this best of three in the winner's match. He is one win away from advancing the round of eight of WCS America. Guys, stay tuned. Game two, Ryung versus Alive, coming up.